What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new Big Bad Toy Store Pile of Loot unboxing video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing my latest pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store. Made a couple of these videos in the past and they're pretty fun, nice, lighthearted, easy breezy videos and we get to talk about some toys, but not necessarily a review, but I'll show you what I got. So this time, we got a pretty big box here, good size good amount of stuff in here I know what's in here so we're gonna crack this open we're gonna take a look at my pile of loot goodies now I've already pre-cut it and this part's probably gonna be pretty loud so I have to do some editing here but I'm just gonna crack that open I see what's going on inside here so set this down right here and let's start out with a couple Bandai model kits here First up, we have the 112th scale Sand Trooper. I've been wanting to get the Sand Trooper model kit for a while, and it finally went back up on Big Bad Toy Store, and it was pretty cheap. So I thought I'd grab it. The model kits are really fun. I love putting them together. I love putting weathering effects on them. And I know this one comes with a few different weapons as well. Like you get the DLT-19 with this. And you also get the T-21, the SE-14R, and the E-11. And you get a variety of different uh, hands and pouches and the pauldron color as well, which I would assume it's probably a sticker. So you probably either have to choose black, white, or orange. I'm not sure. I'll have to open it and really see, but I love the Bandai model kit line of Star Wars stuff. I hope it continues because they honestly have not made a new model kit in quite some time. Then we also got the Shadow Stormtrooper here, which I just wanted to have a classic shadow stormtrooper and it just comes in this black box there's not even pictures of the figure at all on this it's just completely black and this is like the classic design of the shadow stormtrooper not like the one from the force unleashed so excited to build this one as well should be a lot of fun then they were having a sale on some gundam universe figures so i decided what the hell and i picked up gundam death scythe here uh, from gundam wing which is one of my favorite as is most 90, er, 90s and early OO kids, you know, one of their favorite Gundam series, uh, Gundam Wing. And Gundam Death Scythe has always been one of my favorite designs when it comes to Gundams. Obviously, I mean, look at it. He's like a Grim Reaper Gundam. That's so awesome. And this line of figures is pretty good. I kind of fell off the bandwagon with them. Uh, just because I ended up picking up the model kit side of Gundam. And I really enjoy that. So I was like, why am I going to collect the figures if I'm just going to make the model kits of them at some point down the road but I think maybe with Gundam Wing I'll stick with the line of figures and uh, fill that team out as they come out I think that'd be pretty cool then I've got some NECA figures a couple of them here I got the Godzilla versus Mothra ultimate Godzilla here which if you guys didn't know NECA is no longer going to be producing Godzilla action figures in the very very near future and so most likely these will be going out of print sooner than later. So I've just been picking up the ones that I've been meaning to pick up. But now I know I got to do it now before they go out of print and they become insanely expensive. So didn't have this one yet. And then I also picked up the Godzilla from Godzilla vs. King Kong or King Kong vs. Godzilla. Which is a nice silly iteration of Godzilla here. He's big and chunky. Comes with a blast effect so that's great. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to round out the Godzillas that I'm missing because I, I did intend on collecting them all. I was just being a little slow about it because, you know, they're pretty much widely available at every target. They pretty much shell form, which is disappointing because a lot of Godzilla figures are great. And then finally, my last pickup here. This is a doozy. I'm so excited to finally have this in hand. I feel like I've got, I got this way after everyone else, and that is the Predator alpha predator from NECA this is their 100th NECA action figure and holy crap does he look absolutely fantastic check that out that is amazing I didn't even notice his skin was like kind of pearlescent it really doesn't show like that on photos but actually seeing this in hand is awesome but yeah it just feels like everyone else got this figure super early and I just now got mine and 
I'm happy to have it because it seems like it's sold out of its first pressing at least. You know NECA's probably going to repress this, so I wouldn't feed the scalpers on that one. But yeah, he's kind of tough to find right now. I never even saw him at my local Target there, so I'm super, super happy to have the Alpha Predator here. It's going to look great on the shelf. And I can't wait to open them up. So those were my pickups from Big Bad Toy Store. This was my recent pile of loot. What did you guys think of my pickups? Did you grab any of these yourself? Have you been picking up the Godzilla figures now that you know uh, pretty much now is our last chance to get them? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We're always talking about action figures here on Out of the Basement. So if you're into that kind of thing, you're at the right place right here. Of course, I'm Nate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.